piece is the one that you had the most uh, response to. Yes. And yes, this definitely. one also, even though this is not the one that was that brought the whole series to the museum, I think Preston realized this was the strongest piece, and he put it on the cover of the museum catalog for this show. And I was so um, honored again. Yes, well, I think if you look at uh, behind the burqa, you see this person with those dark eyes looking, searching. And the, the, the tears. Yes. Streaming down her face. And we've all been there, Susan. We've all been there. Yeah. Very powerful, very powerful. Yes. And the next yeah. one? Um, one? Yes. Yeah, so the next one is called Audacious. And um, that one has a whole lot of symbolism. And it also, there's the moon, which is the women's power planet. And she's sitting on top of the world. And she has a piece of cake in her hand. And, I, and she's pointing to the past, right, to remind herself never again. She can have her cake and eat it too. Not only is there symbolism, but the very first and foremost is you're just working from, a, as a painter, where to put different elements in the painting so it's balanced, right? Color right. and texture and, and elements. And there was these strings hanging down, and finally I painted them such that, my God, they look like an umbilical cord. Kind of ripped at the bottom. And I thought she just had to rip it away from what she was attached to. That's right. Rebirth. Rebirth. The rebirth. Right. Right. It's her strength. Her yeah. strength ripping it. It was very powerful. And right. the cake stayed together. It looks like it almost crumbled apart, but it... Uh, it's in yeah. strength, inner yeah. strength. Shoulders really. back, and she's up yes. there and out. Right? Yes. So. Are you going to be showing these uh, these series of paintings? I'd really hope that you'd be able to share them, uh, and people not only see them on TV but actually be there, feel the energy, and be part of that whole series. House parties or or maybe institutions, more institutions around here have right. the experience you had, right? So that's yes. a very powerful yes. experience, and I think that needs to be repeated. You pass the message on to a couple people and they pass it on to a couple more. I, I feel it's really important to have two or more of the pieces shown together. Well, I think it's important that all seven pieces be seen together and I hope our public is able to go and, and see it and if not, uh, buy the book and, and see. Yeah. See the book. I believe it could be found on uh, blurb.com. From the or, from the Triton. Yes, from well, the Triton exhibit. What what I've done to prepare for this is I did make some jaclays of a couple of them. So I thought the ones that would be the most um, sought after, which is Alice in Wonderland, mm -hmm. because it's just a really sweet piece. That is a standalone, and whoever has that piece. Uh, wherever they, their office or their institution or their home, it can stand alone and it can be seen as a un, uh, unnerving or because you know what happens next or it can just be a very simple, uh, nice piece. Um, and then you just know what it really means. You know where it goes, what it belongs with. Um, and I also did the face behind the mask as a jaclay. And these are, these are stretched on canvas on, on stretcher bars and I, um, it's called enhanced, or I just paint, actually I paint over everything because I want to make sure that the, that the print uh, stays uh, as secure as a real painting. So there, um, I have uh, just a very limited number, like, uh, like a 10 of each. Um, so I thought that that's what I was thinking, maybe house parties and, and I'd have jaclays available and, and it would just make um, the uh, message could travel more easily mm -hmm. and for a less cost. Oh, very so. good. And is there a, a, a message you'd like to to share if, about about where you're going or what message you'd like to leave, you know, to to give us well, on your on your art and about you as an artist? Uh, my message. Well, I think my message is that um, that these pieces, the seven that are shown at the Triton, they. They show single points of life, single points of life in anyone's life that reflect on the lives that are lived based on the choices made, right? Either made for them or by themselves. And it's very rare in this country anyway that you make, that the choices are made for you. You know, you, you, there's, we have, we, in our constitution, we have freedom. So people can, it might be difficult, but you, know, you can often just escape. It might feel really horrible and feel like you're tearing yourself apart when you, when you leave what you've always known. But you do have a choice. Um, so so that, I think that's what 
the lives lived based on the single points in life where these decisions are made is what these pieces are about. Um, and and I, I want to, uh, I don't think people need to know that these paintings were based on when I finally evaluated myself deeply, uh, that these paintings were based on my life. Um, did I tell you this already? That, that, that I, it, I spent, for a, a year and a half I spent in, I, I took myself into therapy and to, into um, deep meditation centers and, and dream analysis and um, I, I just spent, I was very serious trying to like, why are these, why did these paintings arrive in my life? And at the end of a year and a half, I still didn't really know why these paintings were in my life. Um, and, and, and it took another year of not thinking about it before I realized, oh, I, I think, I actually it was the, the virgin refugee. Um, I thought, well, this is me, <laughs> you know, because I tossed off what I thought was the practical, normal life that a young woman should take, you know, you get married and have kids and, and uh, go to college and be a homemaker and have, you know, and, and do all this. And I had to realize that I, that I had made an actual choice. It didn't, wasn't a mistake and I was, I was living the life that I, I needed to live and not feel guilty about leading a life that wasn't quite what my mother's friends thought I should do, right? Or even right. even my sister's friends thought I should do, or my you know colleagues where I grew up thought I should do. I did something different, and I have a very I had a very interesting life, and just different. Very rich life. Very rich life. Sure. Yes. In so so I think that these paintings really are about me uh, coming to terms with that I um, am not the person I thought I should have become. Well, because <laughs> you are the person who you are and uh, sometimes it's very hard to get to that person and I think in in reflecting back on the reaction to our visitors that we had um, mm. it was very strong you know like I said uh, these women and it really caused a conversation um, when in the exhibit yeah we had them up for three months mm -hmm. and in those three months it I had the privilege of talking to women about about your exhibit and it was also a personal growth for me because I also got to look and mm -hmm. um, so. Well, yeah. I'm really glad we did this tonight. Yes. And um, well, I, thank you for coming and and, and sharing your You're art welcome. with. Um, and thank you with all us. for coming yes. too. And uh, you can look for this on YouTube and uh, on the peg stations of your area. And uh, yes, and, great. and I hope uh, our guests look look you up on and look for Susan oh. Yor. I'm, so I'm craftart.com, K-R-A-F-T, A-R-T, okay. K-R-A-F-T, art.com, and the Triton Museum. Yes, Susan, so. Susan Craft. So thank you so much, Susan, for coming. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody.